Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to write a stored procedure which takes input parameter but does not return any output parameter. The same query, same stored procedure I will copy, I will go for new query window, I will paste it, now I will create a new stored procedure, so I will use create proc my sp with, I will just remove this no with input parameters and no output parameters. So my input parameter I need to pass in the brackets and the parameter I need to declare I should use at symbol for the parameter I will say at did as int. Did will be of type int. Now this did I will use it here and I will write a where clause as we know that where clause should always come before group by clause. I'll say where e dot department id equals to at did. Now this is a stored procedure which takes input parameter department id and gives me the sum of salaries of that particular department and it does not return any value it is going to give me a complete table. Now, if I want to execute this again the same way, I'll simply refresh this folder so that I should get sp with input parameter, but no output parameter. So I'll drag and drop. Now, at this time, I need to pass. If I execute this, let us see what it says. It says that expects a parameter at did. I need to pass input parameter. I can simply pass by giving some space. Input parameter, I'll say. 1000. Now 1000 is the department ID of testing. I'll say 1001. It is the ID of development. I'll say 1002. I do not have any employee belonging to 1002. So this is a stored procedure which takes input parameter but does not return any value. I can have multiple input parameters. I can get multiple input parameters simply by putting comma and I'll add one more parameter. So as many parameters as I want I can use it here and at the time of execution I need to pass all the values with the help of comma. Now one more point I can set the default value of this parameter so I can simply say that equals to 1001. If I do not pass any value it should take 1001. So instead of create, now I'll say alter. I'm altering this stored procedure. Now, if I pass 1001, it is going to execute perfect. If I pass 1000, it is going to execute perfect. If I do not pass anything and if I want it to take default value, it will take default value that is 1000. If I remove this and execute this, it will take the default value and it gets executed. So this is very simple. This is how you can create a stored procedure with input parameter and no output parameters. Thank you very much.